On this episode of DPB, we're putting three inch pipes on the ghetto glider. Welcome to DPV. It is a gorgeous day here in the inland northwest. Look at this beautiful sunshine. Oh yeah, ghetto glider's looking good. And uh, I'm pretty dang excited about today's project. It's something I've been needing to deal with for a long time. Inside the car gets super stinky because the exhaust has a ton of exhaust leaks. It wasn't put together very well. The mufflers are blown out. It sounds like garbage. Uh, and well, I'm not doing it to the caliber that I wanted to initially, it's still gonna be pretty cool. So I had some extra parts left over from Clyde doing the three inch dual exhaust on it. So I got two four foot sections pipe there. And I still have some, uh, you know, mandrel bent 180s. Um, so I went ahead and got some header extensions from Hedman Headers. And then I got a set of Summit Racing dual chamber performance mufflers. Um, I have the race mufflers on my Jeep. I'm hoping that the performance mufflers are a little quieter, but it's still gonna have a pretty good rumble. And I know that uh, three inch dual exhaust on a pretty basic small block Chevy is too much exhaust, but I've already had some of the parts and it's gonna sound good and I don't really care. So uh, I think it's gonna be fine. So um, first thing we gotta do is cut the whole old exhaust system out. Then we'll start fitting this stuff in. Uh, it should go pretty quick. I think it's gonna be a pretty simple project. We don't have enough pipes to go all the way out the back, so after the mufflers, we're just gonna kick it out the side. I'm gonna go just uh, right in front of the rear tires, and uh, hopefully that'll be good enough. All right, so uh, let's get after it. All right, got all the old exhaust out. Let me just show you how nasty this was. I'm embarrassed that this is my handiwork. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, that one is freaking terrible. I remember I wrapped it with uh, some like exhaust tape to see if that would seal it up, but that's just hideous. No wonder it's sunk inside. So we are ready to, uh, you know, start putting on the new stuff. And I know in my last exhaust video, I was like, rule number one, when you cut the exhaust off, you gotta hear it with no exhaust. But I know that this car actually doesn't sound very good with straight open headers and no header extensions. It's just not enough exhaust for that, that little uh, small block. So, but I do wanna see, you know, if I get these two foot extensions on there, Maybe it'll be all right, or maybe they're 18 inches. Uh, so we'll we'll get those bolted in, and then fire it up and see what it sounds like with open headers and a little uh, bit of tube. Oh yeah, there we go. Ooh, stickers. Poor AMC 360. I'll get back to you. All right. So good, we got new hardware because my old hardware is pretty rough. So yeah, let's get these bolted in.
extensions are in. I had to cut about four inches out of that one so the bend would line up. Um, you know where the little whoop de whoop in the cross member is. So let's fire it up and see how obnoxious it is. Yeah. Like that <laughs> all right I gotta run and grab my puppy dog from the groomer then we'll uh, finish that exhaust all right I'm back got the puppy got my wife some coffee all good things so now we're gonna go ahead and hook up these pipes with the mufflers. deciding what to do here. I'm afraid these are going to be kind of low. Which I knew they were going to be low, but um, like kicking out underneath this control arm is not probably going to work out. Back in high school, before I ran it up the back, I had just turndowns and it still made it smelly inside. I don't know if I had turn downs that kind of angled the outside if that would work. So I guess I could um, weld it up this way, try it with them turned, angled out, drive a little bit and see how it does. Um, and then and just do a couple tacks there to make sure I can get them off easy. sweet so I'm gonna go ahead and get these bolted in now all right it's in let's see what it sounds like and then we need to grab a couple hangers Ooh, I like that
It's that Edelbrock cam. All right. Sounds like a freaking hot rod now. All right, I'm gonna go grab some hangers and uh, we'll get this thing on the on all four wheels and go for a little spin. Well, uh, Napa didn't have any hangers in stock and by the time they can get them, I need to be done for the day. So I'm gonna do what I do best, and just tie wire those suckers up and then uh, go for a drive, see what it sounds like you know, on the road. And it's starting to rain. Awesome. All right, we're gonna go around the block with the windows up, see if it stinks in here. I have a feeling it still might stink because it's kind of still leaking some transmission fluid on the exhaust out the uh, speedometer cable port. So I'll have to deal with that. But It's actually not too bad inside. now <laughs> have to take care of whatever's rattling back there Ooh, it's hot It's like those kids that have the big bass and it just rattles their trunk. It's just my exhaust rattles my trunk. That sounds terrible. Dang it! Sounds like I got a little header tick. So I need to tighten up the header bolts at the heads. It's actually not as loud as I thought though. It's not, like, I don't think it's gonna hurt the kid's ears. It's not like the Jeep. What do you girls think of the loud exhaust? I like it. Yeah? Is it still trippy? A little bit, a little stinky still. Uh, we'll fix it up though. Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna help you though. Oh. Uh, All right, all right, I'm gonna get these kids to school. All right, I wanted to get a couple more zero to 60 tests in before I end this video, just to see the opened up exhaust, uh, you know, help us out at all. So um, we're gonna hit the same section of road they did on the last video. Um, and uh, same technique, use the line lock for a little launch control um, and we'll, We'll see what the old girl can do with uh, the new exhaust system. All right, race timer set, GoPro set up. Uh, yeah, let's do it.
tell if you're really going a lot uphill or a lot downhill. Um, so I got a 7.4, a 9.9, a 9.4, and an 8.4. Super inconsistent. So it's probably somewhere around 9 realistically. Um, but anyway, I'm pretty excited with the exhaust. Yeah, I think it sounds good. Um, it's a little rattly. Uh, at certain RPMs, it just makes the whole car rattle because it's so such a low note. But it, um, at the higher RPMs, man, it sounds good. So anyway, uh, next up on the Apollo, we got to get these gauges hooked up. Um, I've got oil pressure and I got bolts, which is great. But I don't know what the temp's doing it, so on a long trip like that, I don't want to risk it. Um, I did see that I've got a lower radiator hose leak. I need to get that taken care of. Um, the transmission is leaking at the uh, at the speedo cable, so I got to deal with that. Um, probably gonna have to run this exhaust all the way over the axle. Because uh, it does kind of stink in here a little bit. So, a bit of work to do yet for the underpowered tour, but I'm excited. It's so fun driving this car. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Wheel it, wreck it, wrench it, beat. See you next time.